Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a simple gel polish tutorial, creating these dreamy full marbles with some added water decals. So I really hope you all enjoy watching. Now for today's video, I'm just working on some display tips. And the first color that I'm gonna be coming in with is Kiki London's Ivory. Now Ivory is one of their new colors from the full 2021 collection and it is such a beautiful, creamy it's kind of like an off-white color it's just gorgeous and it's so highly pigmented as well I definitely think in certain situations you could get away with doing one coat of this one because I'm working over clear tips I did decide to do two coats because it did look a little bit patchy so I'm applying that first coat of color keeping it nice and thin and I'm then going to pop that in to cure for 30 seconds and I'm then gonna come in and do the second coat of color. I'm applying this really thin as well because like I said, the color is highly pigmented. I do have a discount code for Kiki London, which I will leave in the description box below along with all of the links to all of the products I use as well. So now that I've got that second coat of color applied, I'm gonna pop that in to cure for 30 seconds. And I did off camera do exactly the same on all four nails. So here are our bases ready to go for our nail art. So for my water decals, I'm gonna be using these old English style letters from Miss Lucy's. Now I will leave a link, like I said, to all the products in the description box below. And I highly recommend checking out Miss Lucy for water decals. She has a really amazing Christmas collection on her site at the moment. So I've cut the water decal out as close to the image as possible. And I've did this for all four of the letters I'm going to be using so that we can spell out full. Now I'm gonna be applying the water decals using the jelly stamper method. So I've got my clear jelly stamper and I'm placing that water decal face down on to the stamper head. And then using my Kiki London round nail light brush, I'm just dampening the back of that water decal. So this will then cause the backing paper from the image to gently slide off. Now I did test it and it wasn't ready to come off just yet. So I did add a little bit more water. I was trying to be quick. If you just leave it to soak for around 10, 20 seconds, it will easily slide off. And then there you can see by applying it with your stamper, you're able to look through your stamper like you would when you're stamping and position that water decal exactly where you want it on the nail. Now I want these to all be slightly off center to the left side. So I've got that into place and then I've pressed it down, gave it a little wriggle so that, that water decal removes from my stamper onto the tacky layer of my gel polish. And then I'm just gonna smooth out any creases using my Kiki London silicone tool. I do find that applying the water decals with the stamper, you do get very minimal creases and bubbles. So it's definitely an easier way to apply the water decals. And you can see here how well that has adhered down to the nail. There's no creases or bubbles or anything like that. So I'm gonna fly through and repeat that step on all four of the nails. Now, if you do have trouble sticking the da image down, I have found that certain water decals or certain stampers sometimes as well can be a little bit tricky to get the image to stick down. So don't worry too much if it's moving around. Once the water has soaked into the backing paper, the image will stick to your stamper head. I like to always give a little wriggle and a rock just to help that remove from the stamper head. And also another thing that really helps is when you are working over the tacky layer of the gel polish, that just helps grab the image from the stamper head to the gel polish. So basically always leave your tacky inhibition layer on, or if you're using a system that hasn't got a tacky inhibition layer, maybe like acrylic, then you could pop down a base coat first of all. You will find that using different brands of water decals, sometimes they take a little bit longer to soak than others. With most of the water decals I use, I'd say around 10, 20 seconds is long enough if you're using room temperature water. Sometimes if you're using colder water, it takes a little bit longer as well, I've found. If you haven't placed your water decal in the right position, you are able to lift it up with some tweezers and reposition it, but it can be a little bit tricky. But I do find that placing it down with the stamper, you're able to 99% of the time anyway, accurately get it where you want it to be on that nail. 
And then always take the time to squeeze out any bubbles or any creases as these are noticeable when it comes to top coating. So make sure you do smooth that water decal out. Now, like I said, this is a pretty simple, easy tutorial, but if you do have any questions, please do pop them in the comments below and I will be happy to help if I can. Also, if you have any video requests, pop them below and I will see if I can give them a go. So this is what the nails look like now. We've got our water decals all applied. Now I applied my water decals first because I wanted my gel polish marbles to swirl around them. So let's move on to the marble. I'm gonna be using another three colors from the new fall 2021 collection from Kiki London. So here we have the gorgeous mocha. If you haven't already checked out the new collection from Kiki London, I would highly recommend checking it out. I have done a swatch video over on the Kiki London YouTube channel. So if you just type in Kiki London, you should find that channel. So next up we have Olive U, which is a gorgeous, kind of like a darker, or it's a more yellow kaiki green. I really love this one though, because it's perfect, the perfect green, sorry, for autumn. Then we have Sleek Slate. Now Sleek Slate is kind of like a gray with a light blue undertone. And I quite liked this one that it was a little bit different from the usual autumn colors that you see. And I felt as though it really tied in nicely in this marble. So I've popped my gel polish colors down on my palette, as you can see, and before they marble, or sorry, before I marble them, I'm just gonna apply my base coat to the nail. Now I'm using the Kiki London base coat as a blooming gel here. So I'm gonna apply a thin layer of this to the nail and leave it wet, and that's what I'm gonna swirl my marble into. If you have a blooming gel, you can use that, but I've always found that base coat works perfectly, so I've never found the need to purchase a blooming gel yet. So as you see there, I've just taken a dotting tool and swirled through those three gel polish colors to create a marble effect. Then I'm gonna pick these up using the Kiki London Round Nail Art Brush, and I'm gently tapping them on to that base coat. So my brush isn't actually making any contact with the nail. I'm just wriggling off the color at this point into that base coat. That way you then keep the marble effect that you've created on your palette. And then because you've got your base coat down, it's gonna cause that marble to bloom out at the edges and run a little bit more. So I'm gonna repeat that step on all of the nails. And after I've applied that marble, I'm popping each nail straight in to cure for 60 seconds. If you want your marble to bloom more or the colors to merge and marble together a little bit more, then rather than popping it straight in to cure, just leave it for a few seconds for the base coat to work its magic. I wanted it to keep it, I wanted my marble, sorry, to be kept as I'd placed it down on the nail. It looked a little bit more defined. I didn't want it to bloom too much. I just wanted the edges to soften. So that's why I popped these nails straight into Cure after doing each one. And although the Kiki London Gel Polish Colors only require a 30 second cure, when you're doing a marble, you'll find that you apply the colors a little bit thicker. So that's why I always pop my marbles in for a 60 second cure, just to make sure that product has fully cured. Again, when I'm picking up that gel polish, I'm very gently pressing it down into the base coat. You don't want to play around with your marble too much because it will just cause the colors to merge and blend together and you'll just end up with one murky looking color rather than the defined lines of the marble. Of course, there are so many different ways to create gel polish marbles, but this is one of my favorite ways at the moment of doing it. I just love the effect that it gives off. So here we have the last one. So I'm gonna pop down my base coat. Now, as you see, I'm not really popping my base coat over the water decal. And that's because I don't really want my marble to run and cover that water decal. So that's why I haven't applied the base coat to the entire nail. Of course, if you did get a little bit of the marble on to your water decal or on any areas where you don't want it, you could wipe it off using a clean brush and a tiny amount of acetone. But on this particular design, I knew that that marble wouldn't run onto the water decal if I didn't apply any of the base coat onto it. So I'm just being really careful when I'm working close to it. Now here I didn't have, I didn't, wasn't 100% sure on the marble on this one. I was using a tiny amount of the gel polish that was left on the palette. So I did just play around with it until I was happy with it. And then this is what the nails looked like once they had all been cured. 
So we're now ready to come in and top coat. So I'm gonna to be top coating today using the Kiki London No Wipe Rubber Top Coat. I love the rubber top coat for working over any kind of nala, especially things like water decals because it really seals them in and helps them last the duration of the set. I do also like using the rubber top coat over marbles because marbles can be a little bit uneven. They can feel a little bit bumpy and a thicker rubber top coat really helps smooth all of that out now you can see it is a thicker top coat so I do like to really work it on to the now when I'm applying it and then I always give it a couple of seconds to self level before popping it into cure I do find that this particular rubber top coat self levels absolutely beautifully so I'm just going to apply a layer of that to all of the nails and then once I've done this I'm going to pop this in to cure for 60 seconds as it requires a 60 second cure Whilst I'm finishing up top coating, I just wanted to take a moment to check in with you all and ask how you are all doing. If you are here in the UK, are you enjoying the current autumn weather? It certainly is feeling very chilly, but I do really love autumn. So we're coming towards the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button. This is what the nails looked like once they had fully cured and I really, really liked them. So let me know your thoughts below. Thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.